Hey guys, welcome to lesson 37 and today is my holiness blesses the world. Oh God, I don't really feel like doing a lesson today, but I committed this year to make sure that every day you either get a message, hi Paula, you either get a message or you get me doing a, a video or you get um, a message from 2014, thank you, or something just to help us all to get through the day in an easy peasy way. Um, so here I am and I feel like shit. <laughs> Be totally honest, I'm not feeling good today. And that's okay because we're human. But I'm using the course, um, I'm not giving up. I just went on the internet and created a new crowdfunding video because they wanted me to combine both of my videos together. They quite liked them. So, oh God, ah, I've got neck pain at the moment. Um, so my holiness blesses the world. My holiness blesses this neck pain. Uh, it blesses my body. It's probably because I did all that ballet yesterday. I went to ballet yesterday. I went back to ballet and probably put my body into different, you know, spaces it's not used to being in. Then I had a massive, massive night terror, probably because I ate too late and all the food was lying on my stomach. Could be, could be, could be, uh, could be, I don't know, but that could be one of the reasons. Yeah. Fibromyalgia, yeah, it, uh, it's very cold today, so wrap up warm. Um, all I could say is that we have to get through regardless. And so this evening, I'm going to um, one of the local amateur companies are looking for singers. And so I'm going to go out there tonight and I'm going to see if there's any way that I can contribute with my singing to become part of what they're doing. They're doing a World War II thing, and it sounds exciting, called Keep the Home Fires Burning. Anyway, lesson 37. Turn right to stay on Brackley Road. <laughs> Sorry, the sat-nav is on. I don't know why. I'm in the house, which is great fun. The sat-nav is on. <laughs> I was just checking um, how to get to Lane End. Um, I think today I'm going to join a little man today into our session. So there's PC. A, this PC. In 300 yards, turn left onto Primrose Hill. Now, when you look at him, how can you not bless your world? He's such a lovely, lovely cat. Gentle and sweet. Aren't you, PC? Until he doesn't get his food. And so I suppose when you feel like shit, like I'm feeling today, kind of shitty, um, we have to look for things to appreciate. And I suppose what I appreciate is the cats. And um, I mean, in, in spite, I, I slept today. I didn't wake up till three this afternoon. And I've still got ache, I'm, I'm aching today. It's a bit like sinuses and I don't know, you know, maybe I'm coming down with something. But as I say, if we keep using that lesson, my holiness blesses this pain. My holiness, which is the part of me that is love, the part of me that is above everything, the part of me that cannot suffer is our holiness. The part of us that doesn't know how to suffer, it only knows how to love, is the holiness that we are. And I also looked at it in another way the other day. If you think of something that's got holes in it, it's got space for light. So that's another way I've decided to look at it this year, Course in Miracles, is that um, wherever there's a hole in me <laughs> where I'm not complete, that is a chance for me to bring in the light, to bring in the love, to bring in more light and more love. So I got up today and I did a short audition for a student film, uh, sent it to them, we'll see what, what happens. Uh, a very cruel character, and it was fun to do. And I sent that off. We'll see what happens. Uh, I got up today, and I combined two videos for crowdfunding. Uh, I put quite a lot on Facebook today to highlight how, to me, I think we need more therapeutic communities 
because we need 24-hour support system. Um, if you're lucky and you've got a loving family that will hold you regardless of the pain, regardless of the suffering, then you're very lucky. I don't have that. When Martin's at work and he's at work till 1 a.m. this morning, I have to get on with it. And friends, of course, have their own lives and they're busy. And there's only so many times you can go to the Positivity Center because they have their own lives and they're busy. Um, so I'll probably go there tomorrow um, because I'm having something tomorrow called, it uh, involves sound, uh, not sound, uh, tuning forks around the areas where the pain is. I'll let you know about that, Paula. I'm on my second session. So it's a massage, but where she uses um, these tuning forks on the parts of the body that are not functioning. And yes, you're likely to get a release after that. And I think what I've done this week, if I look at myself and the way my life has been this week, from the point of view of someone who loves their self, um, there was quite a lot of pushing of, of my life this week. Um, I pushed myself in different directions. Not always did I have a choice. I had to go to work and sit through that awful, awful meeting about dementia, as I said. But I got through it. Um, but this week I had my treatment for pain and that was on Friday. And then I Saturday I drove to Swindon and I did a huge two hours of dancing. Okay, here you go. This is where I'm trying to say where was the chance for me to rest uh, after the massage? And maybe now I'm getting the side effects of the fact that I pushed. Anyway, Sunday, uh, what did I do? I uh, can't remember what I did Sunday. I know I went to a healing circle or a holding space circle, as Paul McDonald likes to call it these days, um, in the Positivity Center. And then I went on for a meal um, with friends. And then Monday I was at work, Tuesday I was at work, Wednesday I was at work. So can you see what I'm saying here? Oh, and of course, last night I went to ballet. When did I rest? Not very much. Not very much at all. Because I don't sleep very well at night. So I had to get up and work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, so I had to be out of here, you know, up at half eight or whatever. Starting work at 10 to four and continuously working. Uh, three days, which I'm not used to. It's usually two, but I covered for someone. Uh, also, on Tuesday, I had that awful meeting, remember, about dementia, which got to me and upset me quite a lot, and I had to do a lot of work on that. Last night, I went to ballet. I loved it, but my body danced for an hour in positions that I haven't done since I was a child, you know, plie and uh, whatever. Uh, I can't even remember the names. Tondu, Rotondu or something. Anyway, it was great fun. I loved it. But again, as I said, pushed myself into different spaces. Um, turn right to stay on Brackley Drive, then turn right onto Brackley Road. I'm in, I'm in the lounge, as you can see. I'm not driving. <laughs> um... How are you pushing yourself, Paula Ailes Brown? How are you pushing your body? Think about it. Pain comes when we push ourselves. Pain comes when we don't sleep. Someone told me that they have a 96-year-old friend, 96, and he's well. There's nothing wrong with him. And they asked him, how come you're so well? How come you're so well? And you know what he said? I listen to my body. I listen to my body. That's why I'm well. I listen to my body. And so if my body is saying, I don't feel too good, if my body is giving me a little bit of an ache, he rests and that's what he's done his whole life. He stops. Now I know it's probably not easy for you because you've got kids and families, but you do have to take at least an hour a week for you, whether it's to meditate, go and walk in nature, Pain will get much stronger and much worse if you're not taking time out. And this week, I haven't really taken time out. I've danced. I've done loads of stuff that I love doing, but I haven't taken the time out to rest. And that's probably why I had a massive night terror. That's probably why I ache today. But tonight, um, today, I rested till I was, you know, I tried to sleep about till three uh, in order to give my body back something. You need to drink water, you need to rest. Now, tomorrow, 
I'm going to the Positivity Center to have a massage with the tuning forks in the afternoon. And then after that, I will do nothing. I will do nothing. I'm not even going to take my laptop and work. I'm just going to sit there, have a hot chocolate, because they do the best hot cocos in the world with oat milk. And I'm going to chat to whoever's there, to Paul and whoever is there, Cecil, and new people, exciting people that you meet there. I'm going to walk in the green and maybe dance on the green if I feel like it, nice and gently. But that's it. I'm not going to push my body. I'm not working till Monday. Um, Saturday, I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. I haven't got anything planned. I might have um, a, a job, a modeling job. I'm waiting. And then Sunday, um, I can't remember. Something has come up for Sunday. I can't remember what it is now. But something came up for Sunday. I know in the evening, I will be at the Holding Space Center, i.e. Paul's. Holding Space Center um, uh, circle. And if I have to share the night terrors or I have to share whatever I have to do, because that's what we do in order to stay well and sane, in order to carry on. But And then Monday I go back to work again. And so... As I said, your holiness, this is a course in miracles, whatever it is that keeps us strong, the love, the self-nurturing, particularly if there's someone in your life that you're finding difficult, look at that person and say, I bless you the same way I bless you and I bless the world. Your holiness blesses the world means I, that part of me that is full of love, compassion, gentleness blesses you and blesses the world and then that person won't get to you as much it won't feel as threatening to you so there you go um take a breath today paula if you can love that part of you that hurts the more you love it you know um you can look at moving on tv look at the healing blueprint on the holistic show please subscribe in there lenny explains how she got rid of a mold allergy by loving it and she talks about pain we talk about physical pain you cannot heal physical pain by being angry at it and by pushing loads of medication on it it's not gonna happen you've got to love that part you gotta love it you've got to imagine that you're getting inside the part where the pain is and let's do that together, Paula. Breathe. 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 And let go. Okay. Now, if you can, surrender. So lay down your guns. Imagine you're telling your body, I'm surrendering. So you're laying down your guns. You're laying everything down. So you're not fighting your body, you're not fighting anything. Okay, lay that down. Then I want you to imagine that you're going to invite in your pain. The pain in my neck and my head is already going down because I'm breathing. Right, invite the pain in. Invite it, imagining it's coming in to have a meal with you. Set a chair for it. It sounds ridiculous but it actually works. It's called the healing blueprint. Invite the pain in, sit it down on a chair and just ask it, what do you want? What would you like? Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like some massage? Would you like just to feel loved and validated? So that's what you do. You invite the pain in, pain walks in, sits down. You hold that part of the body, hold it from inside. Literally sounds yucky, but because it sounds yucky, that part will hurt you more because they're not loving it. Imagine if you said, I don't love you. You're yucky. I'm not going to give you a hug. Think about it. That part of the body will suffer even more. Imagine you'd said to your child, you're yucky because you're behaving badly. I'm not going to hug you and love you. Then what do you think is going to happen? So I think the reason, I think the reason our bodies do not feel good 
is because we never hold them from the inside. We say, oh God, that's yucky. Ooh, I can't touch that kidney. I don't want to touch it. It's yucky. Well, that's what I'm saying to you. I want you to go inside your neck or your pain in your head. And I want you to hold it and say, I love you. I love you. I love you. To me, you are the best thing in the world. You give me life. You, you help me function. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And what do you think will happen? Your pain will start to react. It will start to go down. It will say thank you back. That's one of the reasons I have oxygen when I can. And I haven't been able to have oxygen for quite a while because I'm working on the days they do it. Um, but oxygen, when you breathe in pure oxygen, you're giving it to your organs and they're saying thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's what I want to teach today is your holiness, your intelligence, the beauty that you are, everything that you are blesses you, blesses everything that you are. That beautiful, beautiful holiness, intelligence, love or God. Some people call it God. I hope you can hear this. I'm using my new phone. I hope you can hear this well because the old phone was rubbish. There was no sound on it. So that's all you have to do, Paula. If anybody else is watching this and you're depressed or low, love the depression, love the pain. Bless the depression, bless the pain, bless the loneliness, bless everything that I whinge and complain about. Bless it. When you bless it, then the mind can become creative. Then you can think about, wow, I could do this or I could do that. Maybe I could try something else. But you must take some time for you. Because if you can't take any time for you, you will suffer. Your body will suffer. It will complain, I can guarantee. If you don't take time, if you don't breathe, if you don't drink water, drink chamomile tea, try to breathe in nature. Try to relax. Protect yourself. You know, um, if you need to see a homeopath to protect you against the elements and geoengineering, which are very much alive and very true, go out there and see a homeopath. Get what your body needs. Get the vitamins you need. That's the way we live now. So what else can I say? Yeah, do your best. Um, some people believe that if you think that you're not going to be affected by things like geoengineering and negative uh, things that are happening and food, and then you'll be okay because the mind is so powerful. I'd love to believe that. I really would love to believe it. But as a sensitive, I tend to feel everything. And I expect, Paula, you're a sensitive, an empath that picks up everything. The first thing you need to do is close down your crown chakra all the time. And don't listen to anybody who tells you to leave yourself wide open. Because you will suffer. You will have more pain. Close down your crown chakra. And if your children are sensitive and pick everything up, just imagine you're bolting down their crown chakra. And the two mediums that, they, that are the most famous in this country do say that if you don't want to pick up other people's energies, because it could be you're picking them up all the time, close down your crown chakra. There's loads of stuff you can do. The most important thing is be happy, do what you love. Because if you're happy and you're doing what you love and you rest, not like Lauren that's been jumping around like a two-year-old doing what she loves, working and not resting, if you rest, you'll feel okay. You're not likely to have night terrors. Don't eat um, a big meal at 11 o'clock at night. It's not a good idea. And it will rest on your body and probably create some kind of panic or stress when you try to lie down. That's probably why I had such a massive night terror. As someone says, I give away a lot of information on here, a lot of personal information. So what? I'm a teacher. The only way you can teach is by giving away your personal information. How else can I help you recover? <laughs> if it's working for me, I will tell you. If it's not working for me, I'll ask you. That's how it is. If I'm having issues that are not working, then I ask for help because we're there for each other to connect. And if it triggers someone, 
whatever. That means they haven't got the courage or they haven't, they're not there yet and they're not able to ask for help. We can ask each other for help and I'm happy to give it. I'm also happy to give it as proper coaching. If you contact me, I'll work with you, but you need to pay me. I give a lot. I give a huge amount and I hope whatever I give for free helps, but I also have to earn a living. So there you go. I love you lots and I hope this helps and hope that you can find that part of you that helps you get through the day. Have a beautiful, beautiful day and just another glance at Peace the Cat. If you've got your animals, hug them, cuddle them. And there he is. There he is having a sleep, having a rest. There's PC. And Ellie's on the windowsill. You can just about see her tail over there. She sleeps behind the veil because she's posh. But PC isn't. You're not posh, are you, PC? No. Oh, he's a good boy. Good boy. Who said that cats are not enlightened? They? <laughs> they are very enlightened. Okay, then. Love you lots, guys. Take care. Have a beautiful, beautiful evening. And God bless. Bye.